Hi everyone, happy Tuesday to you all. It's such a pleasure to come every morning to bring the word of God to you. Today the scripture is taken from Matthew chapter 25 verse 14 to 30. It's a really common known parable that Jesus was talking about. And uh, have you hidden your talents today? I just want to ask you, I know that all of us, God has given some kind of a talent or talents and abilities. So God is saying this parable to you and me. Jesus is speaking at that time so many years ago. He's talking to you today and asking you, what are you going to do with what he has given you? The talents and abilities that he has given you the positions that he has given you things that he have entrusted you this Sunday the sermon um, our pastor was talking that we are stewards you and I we have been called stewards whatever that God has given us it doesn't belong to us it doesn't it's not our thing that we can hide it and keep it it really belongs to God and we have to give an account of what he has really given us Sometimes we think that it is um, if we want we can use our talents. It's up to me that I am if I'm not feeling comfortable It's up to me. I don't want to use my talents. I don't think I have a talent or I don't want to use it It's up to me. I have a free will that I don't want to use it But what stuck to me was that we are steward. It doesn't belong to us. You cannot hide it It doesn't belong to you it, if it belongs to you, you can hide it, but it doesn't belong to you. It belongs to God. It belongs to Jesus. Your talents, your abilities, your life belongs to Him. So you have to use it for His glory. Because one day He's going to call you and ask you, What did you do with your time? What did you do with your life? What did you do with your talents? What did you do with your children? What did you do with the house that I gave you? What did you do with the job that I gave you? What did you do with the friends that I gave you? God is going to ask us this question. Are we comfortable saying that we used it to the maximum? We used it for your glory. We used our talents that you have given that doesn't belong to us for your glory. So this steward, um, this is the story uh, of that steward, the parable that uh, I'm going to read it to you from Matthew chapter 25 verse 14 onwards. I'm going to read a little so that we can understand the story. It says Jesus was talking this parable and said again it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to his wealth to them to one he gave five bags of gold to another two bags to another one bag each one according to his ability then he went on to it on his journey the man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put it put his money back to work and gained five bags more so also the one with two bags of gold gained two more but the man who had received one bag went off dug a hole in the ground and hid his money master's money after a long time the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them the man who had five bags of gold brought the other five master he said you entrusted me with five bags of gold see i have gained five more his master replied well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful with few things i will put you in charge of many things come and share your master's happiness the man with two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master said, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with few things. I will put in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag came to the master. He said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown, gathered where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See here what belongs to you. His master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I've, I harvest where I have not sown and gathered where I have not scattered. Well then, you should have put my money on deposit. With the bankers so that when i return i would have returned it received it back with interest so take a bag of gold from him so he took the bag of gold from him gave it to the one who had 10 bags 
for whoever has will be given more and they will have abundance whoever does not have even what they have will be taken from them and throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth that's a great parable and it speaks to you and me today today in this 2021 i want to encourage you and tell you that god has given you bags of talents and abilities and strength and positions and things that god has blessed you with what are you going to do with those talents what are we going to do with them god's going to come and as i said before we are his stewards it doesn't belong to us our talents may be cooking ability we think it's our ability i can do whatever i want i don't have to cook for others i don't have to give others i can just cook for myself and eat for myself but god is saying i have given it it's not yours i have given it so you can use it for my glory for my glory what are you going to do with your talent let's say maybe you're an artist maybe you like to paint maybe you think you can do whatever you want to do at your time at your pleasure and it's only for your view for your pleasure to see but God is saying, use that talent for my glory. Maybe even a small artist, maybe someone even with the new skills, with the really recent skills. But God wants you to use that talent. And you can see here that people who, who were able to get more from their talent, God gave the one who couldn't use that talent, gave that talent the one who had more so god is asking you and me not to hide it not hide it under the under the ground don't hide your talents anywhere but use that talent maybe you're good at speaking maybe you're good at uh, having functions maybe you're good at decorating maybe you're good at making cakes maybe you're good at um, singing or worshiping or leading or doing a ministry teaching Sunday school or doing something whatever that you have and you are good with let may you use it don't say that it's not it's a small thing because God is expecting you to multiply it God doesn't want you to keep that small thing hidden he wants you to multiply it because he's gonna come back and ask you what have you done with it and we want to hear him saying you good and faithful servant you have done well come come to my come and receive my happiness so be, people bury their talent because they feel inferior to the people with more talent. If you see that you can, uh, you can only do small thing, like maybe your painting is a kid's painting that you are painting, but you see other people with great talents and great paintings, but don't be give up. Don't think that your talent is hidden and small thing. Maybe your, kid, your painting might look like a kid's painting, but it might attract the children. It might attract a different audience so do not do not hinder and hide that talent and people don't see their true uh, value of the talent because they think that um, God has given something really small and you, they don't see the value of it but God has given you a valuable gift the talent that you have is valuable it is valuable do not lose track of it do not hide it and people don't make their talent known some people are good at doing things but they hide it and they don't want to tell anyone I was like that before I used to be hiding and shy and and used to um, be happy people saying I'm shy it's okay I'm shy and I can do whatever I want I don't have to go in front I don't have to do anything I can just hide and do I can just hide and be myself and enjoy my talent myself and uh, but God is saying do not let others intimidate you don't be shy go in front God will give the words for you to speak God will give you the ability you just need to take that first step of faith God will take you through and do mighty things for his glory not for our glory because it doesn't belong to us but for his glory and insecurity uh, about being rejected I remember when I was in school in the drama team I used to um, get in involved but I used to be so scared I used to shiver when I go have to speak even one line and um, but because we, we feel like we'll be rejected if we make a mistake or if we spoil the soup or something like that but God is saying do not do not let may do not think that you'll be rejected use your talent even the smallest talent that you have for God's glory 
so if you do not use your talent what will happen it will it will be taken away from you if you do not use that talent it will be taken away from you so use your talent use your talent when you go to heaven God is gonna make you in charge of many things he has he's just gonna do a trial run on earth and see what you're doing with your talent if he sees that you are doing mighty things with his talent with with what you what God has given you you're doing something he's gonna entrust you with many more when you go to heaven you will be in charge of many things and you will shine for Jesus in heaven and he'll be very pleased with you because you have used your time and abilities for his glory so and also God will multiply your talent let's say you have one talent of making making cooking something cooking cookies or something baking cookies you do something small and God will multiply your talent God will make venues for you creative ideas for you and make you multiply God's gonna make you multiply God is faithful so use what you God has already given you and he will multiply it if you give him 1% of your of talent ability God will increase it and multiply and make platforms for you make places for you to shine for God's glory so as we remember that you and I we are stewards in God's kingdom whatever that you and I have the talents we have the abilities we have the positions we have the houses we have the lands we have the family we have the children we have the spouses we have they are not ours they belong to God they belong to him so let's use them for God's glory and may you and I hear from heaven and God saying to you and me Jesus saying to you and me you good and faithful steward you good and faithful servant come to my kingdom and enjoy my happiness I want to hear that from my Lord so I know many years of my uh, years of my life the locusts have eaten that where I have hidden my talents hidden my abilities hidden what God has given me but I'm gonna live the rest of my life maybe it might be 20 years or 5 years or 30 years or how many years I might have on earth I'm gonna live for his glory and use my talents and abilities for his glory and whenever I when I go to heaven to be with my Savior my Jesus my Lord I'm gonna be there eternally worshiping God and using my talents for his glory so I hope you were blessed with this word I was really touched and blessed with this word so I had to share it with you please share this video and subscribe to the channel that is the thing you can do you can share your talents with others because God's gonna get the glory not you but God's gonna get the glory from your life so let's pray together father we come to you father we are humble by your presence for your goodness thank you Lord that you have given us each and every one of us talents none of us can say I don't have something that I'm not good at Lord you have given each and every one of us something talent ability position something Lord that we can use for your kingdom Lord I pray that we would not shy and we would not bury it we would not hide it we would not keep it Lord let us use it Lord help us to use it make us prompt us to use it this week Lord this coming months Lord this coming years for your glory for your honor for your praise Lord if anyone doesn't know you Jesus touch their hearts speak to them Lord and make yourself known to them in the mighty name of Jesus we pray amen I hope you were blessed with this word today just want to sing one worship song I love this worship song it's called show your power whenever I feel that I need God to show me his power I need God to move in my situation I sing this worship song because I know he is powerful and we have to speak and we have to ask him to show his power in our life and show his glory in our life he is the Lord he reigns on high he is the Lord spoke into darkness created the light he is the Lord who's like unto him never ending in days he is the Lord and he comes in power when call on his name he is the Lord 
Show your power, oh Lord, I can show your power, oh Lord, I got, I got. The gospel, oh Lord, is the hope of this nation. You are the Lord. The power of God for our salvation, you are the Lord. We ask not for riches, but look to the cross, you are the Lord. And in for our inheritance, give us the loss, you are the Lord. Show your power, oh Lord. Show your power, oh Lord, I got, I got. Show your power, oh Lord, I got. Show your power, oh Lord, I got, I got. God is so faithful. It just started raining. It's a beautiful rainy Tuesday today and the rain is really good for our plants and our flowers and our vegetables. So I love the rain. So God sent his power to you and me. When we shout to him, when we cry to him and say to him, show your power among us, Lord. Use our talents and abilities. Use our life because we belong to you. You're given everything and it belongs to you. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Please share this video and subscribe to the channel. Share with your loved ones and everyone. God bless you. Bye.